V1 OG hash 12. It's vlog time. Let's do it. Hey guys, Vaping Vic here, back with a vlog, V1 OG number 12, I believe it gets messy because some of them are live, so it gets very complicated, but I believe it is V1 OG 12, um, been a little while, been a little while, so many of these have meant to be live and are supposed to be doing it last Saturday and something cropped up and then uh, I was on a thing with Paul. And yeah, so opportunities uh, have been few and far between to do uh, to do a vlog, to do a catch up, and and also to go live. But I am going live super super soon. I always say that, so take it with a pinch of salt. But that's the plan to do a live thing soon on the channel. <laughs> so please stay tuned. I'm sorry about that. Um, but uh, I've got lots of things to talk about, not too much to show you, um, which means I do need your guys' help. What I would like you to do in the comments is uh, let me know what item in the vape world coming out, about to come out, just come out, you would like me to review, uh, and I'll go and get that item. Um, let me know, please let me know in the comments if there's something that you really want to see a review for or you want to see a review from me for in the comments below uh, because uh, I don't have that much new stuff coming in at the moment. Uh, a lot of people want to send me pods and they want to send me sub tanks and things and I, I ain't all about that all the time so I don't uh, say yes to everything um, but um, yeah turned a few things away so don't have too much on my plate at the moment so please put in the comments uh, what you would like me to review if there's anything in particular you've got your eye on uh, so put that in the comments uh, below. But uh, let's just get on with it. Still got plenty to talk about and show you and things and things I'm not making videos for that I should talk about and stuff. And uh, yeah, let's we'll just crack on going through stuff. Uh, top of the list, this this is the Inikin EQS. Uh, this is the Inikin EQS. Now they did the EQ. Is it Inikin did the first EQ? That was that one, and uh, that was quite a big battery, quite a big capacity pod system, very solid. You know me uh, the new mesh coils and all that, or the old mesh coils and all that. Uh, then they did this. This was the DV pod system. They did that, and uh, the idea behind this one was. Um, it's slicker, it's smaller, it's fancier, and it has the 3D mesh coils in. And, uh, you know, it was very sleek, very cool, very fancy, but a lot of people said, eh, battery life's not great, capacity's not great compared to the other. And so now they've done this, the EQS, the Inokin EQS. Now, this is slightly fancier, <laughs> slightly fancier EQ. Now with the 3D mesh coils, um, but uh, yeah, a tiny bit fancier looking. A tiny bit fancier looking. It's got the, it's got that big capacity. It's got that big thing, and uh, I haven't baked it for a while, so be interesting to see what it's like. A pretty solid pod vape. A very solid pod vape. Let's not lie. So if you like your Inokin stuff, they do have a new pod out, the EQS. This wasn't different enough really for me to uh, to make a video on. They'd just done the DV, I'd just done the DV, and then they already did this. Um, I think the DV and the EQS are going to run side by side. If you want a trendy, fancy little pod, then there's the uh, DV. If you just need battery life, capacity, and a solid vape, there's the EQS. It is a solid pod vape. It really is a solid pod vape. Very inokin, very affordable, but very well made. All that good stuff. The one issue I have, I think and I hope, it will just be the reviewer batch. Um, but uh, this comes out way too easy on mine. And it didn't on the original, but uh, it's re it's it constantly feels like it's going to fall out. <clears throat> constantly feels like it's going to fall out. So that's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, so yeah, that. If I mean, if you put the cap on, 
and you try and get the cap off, you have to squeeze it or else the pod goes with it. The pod's got very loose on that one, whereas on this one, it's absolutely rock solid. So, yeah, that's the one thing. That is the one thing with the EQS. But I believe they'll, I believe they'll fix that for the actual retail version. I'm sure they fixed that for the retail version. Uh, but that is the EQS from Inakin. Not making a video on that. Too similar to everything else they've just done recently. But um, but it's solid, a solid, solid 3D mesh vape from Inakin in pod format. If uh, that is your thing. Uh, a couple of other uh, slightly off-topic things. Um, I'm on a different camera. I'm on a different camera. I've been on a different camera now for the Caliburn and the Blocks kit reviews, and this is on a different camera as well. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's I've changed systems. I've gone from Panasonic to Canon, um, and uh, I loved the Panasonic, and I hate the Canon. <laughs> Um, so it's really tricky going from uh, something you love to something you hate, um, but uh, but uh, these things uh, these things happen. And uh, all I'm saying is, um, it's going to take me a little while to get the color profiles right, the focal lengths right, and just get everything really perfect again uh, on this camera. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So uh, bear with me if anything seems like a bit out of kilter for the next. The previous two videos and the next couple of videos, and then hopefully I'll be in my in my stride with it. Um, got lens things to sort out, mounting things to sort out. So, and yeah, they all have their own little quirky color profiles, and I need to nail that down because I don't want to go mad on color correction ev with every video clip I, I get. So, uh, so yeah, all I'm saying is uh, things are a little bit different. The one advantage now is I can you know do the uh, the up close to the camera thing, I can I can show you things like that in real time, which has its uses sometimes. Uh, don't want to overdo it, but has its uses sometimes. Canon, um, in their wisdom, have autofocus, whereas Panasonic don't bother. Um, so there we go. Uh, so that is a thing. That is a thing. Speaking of changes and all that and stuff like that. A recent change since the last vlog is the the fun day Sunday videos, uh, the top five mistakes or top five whatever videos. Um, I think they're uh, I think they're coming across quite uh, quite well, quite interesting. Um, I, I, so I'm quite pleased with how they have gone. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any ideas for top five mistakes you would like to see, if you're still enjoying them. Or if you are watching them, you are enjoying them, but you think it's got a short shelf life as a as an idea, um, and you don't want to see too much of them, you don't want to see too many of them, uh, you think it'll get a bit stale, then let me know in the comments as well about the the fun day Sunday top five videos. Um, the the logic was just that um, I've been doing this a long time, and if too many reviews, review, 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 review. It gets a bit samey, gets a bit serious, and if you look across YouTube, other categories, other genres, you know they don't just review hardware all the time. They have little, little vi fun videos mixed in, you know, to break up the repetition and stuff like that. And it was just, yeah, an idea from me to um, to kind of have a diff slightly different uh, thing going on. So that was the logic behind that. Uh, let me know uh, how you're getting on with all that, and if you're enjoying all that. If you really, really like them and you want to get involved a bit in actually suggesting them um, before the video is made, uh, join the Facebook group, uh, my Facebook group. There's a link in the description to that. Um, I often say the next video is going to be this. Uh, so any suggestions, put them below. And a lot of the suggestions that come into those videos are from comments on the Facebook group. Um, be simply because, you know, it really shouldn't just be my it should be what it should be a general consensus. It shouldn't just be what this idiot's ideas of uh, what's what. So, so that's the logic behind uh, the fun day Sunday videos. I might move them into another something else fun, but not on this top five mistakes or top five theme. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try and keep Sunday every Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep that as something fun, something fun that isn't a review, not a vlog. Not a live show, just something fun. So that's the plan for the Sunday thing. Cheeky vape on my UL Blocks kit. Do you see the video for this? Pretty funky. 
pretty funky. It squonks very well. It pumps very well, I should say. Um, it, uh, it it only takes a couple of pumps and you're completely saturated again. I really like the action on the uh, on the juice dispersion. Handy little vape, handy little vape. Um, so that is that. Another thing that has happened since the last vlog is uh, I climbed into bed with Galisi. Galisi, the battery people. I just, I just did this, didn't I? But there we go. The Galisi battery people. I, I'm a fan of the batteries. They sent me them uh, a month ago, a, a batch of them, uh, 2700, 18650, and 21700. And I used them intently for a couple of weeks. I looked at all battery moochers charts on these batteries and all that. And uh, I was super impressed. I really like them, everything about them, to be honest. I like that they're a real battery company actually making these batteries, not just rewrapping other people's batteries or anything like that. Uh, so I liked all that. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought they were really good. And so they have become uh, a, an official sponsor of, uh, of this channel now. So uh, yeah, uh, they are a thing. So there'll be a link to their website in the description if anyone is interested in anything Galicia related, get in touch. Um, but yeah, they're just um, they're good people doing good stuff. I think they're actually going to be branching into making vape hardware as well. Don't forget my charger. I can show you this. My charger is a, a Galicia as well. It's been I've been using this a long time. I did make a video on this back when. Um, I really like this charger. It's got some features on it that I just think are great. Um, and it's, yeah, a very, very solid charger. And it's more affordable than the really posh ones. Um, but still has a lot of bays and a lot of power. And I, I really like the, the charger as well. So I like all their stuff. And so it seemed an obvious choice um, to, uh, to to link up with them. It's specifically for the batteries and chargers. If they send me a product to review, it's still going to get the, the full meat and veg. Um, I, I don't know what their plans are, but that's just what they've said to me, that they are actually looking at branching into actual vape hardware so that'll be very interesting indeed uh, but they're they're out there they're good i rate them uh, check out galisi batteries uh, if you think about getting some batteries because i genuinely think they're great um yeah so that's a thing as well obviously my channel is heavily linked with the Ideal Home Show channel uh, every Thursday 9 p.m. on the Ideal Home Show channel. I will. I am usually there uh, with my fellow homies uh, broadcasting, and um, I just wanted to s mention the Ideal Home Show because we've just done a, a really cool charity raffle. I think we raised nearly three thousand pounds for uh, the charity Mind. Uh, a, uh, a guy in the Facebook group is a brilliant Facebook group for vaping. So it's top banter, uh, it's really, really active, loads of threads every day, loads of comments, loads of laughs. It's not just vaping. We have a laugh about beer and food and all kinds of stuff. Really cool group. Uh, a chap on there called Jay is running the London Marathon and the raffle went towards his GoFundMe for his London Marathon run. And because um, so many Omis watched this and that, uh, I just wanted to say to everyone watching, uh, well done on that raffle. Uh, £3,000 for Mind. Um, absolutely superb. Uh, it, the, it just went really well. Uh, well done to everyone that donated a prize. Well done to everyone that won a prize. And anyone that bought a ticket, I just I think when, when we do those things, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Um, you can't overdo it with charity thing. You can't be constantly asking people for stuff. So we do them, you know, three, four, five times a year tops. Uh, but when we do them, they're brilliant. And uh, I just thought that was a brilliant thing. So I just wanted to mention that. Check out the Ideal Home Show Facebook group and check out the show at 9 p.m. on a Thursday or watch it on Catch Up or whatever. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good live show. So check it out. Uh, and I've been doing it for ages. Uh, so that is a thing. Um, we're just rattling through this. It's just totally miscellaneous stuff. Uh, <laughs> we'll just get there when we get there. Obviously, another big thing that happened whilst uh, since the last vlog was uh, I reviewed this uh, this old K-Fun Lite 2019 version. Um, the the K-Fun Lite, did you see the video? I'll do this again. Eee, look at that. Oh. Um, the, yeah, the K-Fun Lite. So we reviewed the K-Fun Lite 2019 version. Um, more is out there now. It's available to buy. Uh, the review went pretty well. Um, I'm really happy with all that. Um, 
more people have got it now. Everyone's sort of got it now, and they're using it and stuff. And a few people have um, had an issue with their 510 getting a little bit of juice in it, um, or certainly a little bit of condensation or whatever. Uh, Smovesto have uh, have uh, they've uh, made a f an official statement about that, and I'll try and show that on screen now. Uh, but basically, what they're saying is. It's it's not actual leaking down the 510. It's uh, it's they, they they believe it's condensation, uh, and uh, it's only affecting a handful of people. And it should be resolvable simply by taking a draw and ha continuing to draw a little bit longer when you remove from the fire button, because it's just that build up when it's just creating a bit of extra vapor that you aren't sucking away, and that's just that's just getting down there. Obviously, it's not a completely seal 510 because it has the um, nylon screw in to adjust the airflow. So it's a very interesting design. There was always this kind of risk, I guess, with this design. Maybe something I should have mentioned in the review, but I haven't had any issues. All oh, mine's perfectly dry every time I remove it from the, the device. So. I haven't had the issue, but if you are, uh, Vomesto are aware of it, and uh, they, uh, th they they have made that statement. Um, if you're really, really worried, contact uh, where you got it from um, about it, but uh, and they will talk to you about it. But I, I, I don't see it as a... I don't know. Personally, because I haven't had the problem, I can't really talk too much about it. If it's just a bit of condensation, if it just looks a little bit wet, then I don't think any's going to be getting down your 510. But um, yeah, it's something to be aware of. Maybe take it apart every now and again just to check it. But uh, like I say, I've just not had that issue at all. So I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. But that's their official statement on screen. So um, that's what they say about it. And if you're super worried or concerned, get in touch with uh, who you bought it from or with uh, Zvomesto. Uh, so there we go. Um, this is a thing I'm not going to review. I've done. I did a little Instagram post on this. Check out my Instagram; it's amazing. Follow me on Instagram, for goodness' sake. Someone should. Um, I uh, I did a little post about this on Instagram. The Gear RTA um, and a fellow Omi uh, Dale Walker sent me this uh, Gear RTA. Um, this is like the big hype RTA of the year, kind of in a way, isn't it? This is the one everyone's talking about. Single coil. Uh, cloudy, flavoursome, low-profile RDA. It's from a new company, uh, OFRF. Um, I believe it's a subdivision of a very well-known company, um, but uh, I don't know if I don't know if that's out there or not. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really popular. It's gone down a storm. It's had rave reviews. Uh, yeah, and I got one last week, so uh, it's vaping away nice. <laughs> I believe I'm right in saying that Dean the Vaping Biker is a fan of this tank and he hates tanks so um, there's high praise if high praise was needed. For my money a solid 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 vape. I'm enjoying it 40 watts 0.3 coil no issues with wicking or anything like that nice saturated vape. The only thing I've kind of noticed and a few people have said it already crazy thin threading on the top cap there'll be a really good reason for that in design terms but um yeah crazy thin threading but it doesn't seem to be a problem it just takes a couple of goes to lock it on crazy drip tip um but yeah i think it's good i think it's a good rta i'm not going to review it i've missed the boat on that um but uh, i think it is good i think it is a good rta i really enjoying it nice sort of mid wattage single coil banger um, definitely better than a lot of the single coil RTAs that came out at the end of last year. There was a flurry of very average RTAs uh, at the end of last year. Um, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, so that's a solid RTA. If you're in the if you're in in the lookout for that, then uh, do do take a peek at that. So yeah, a solid solid vape. What else do we need to cover? I tell you one thing I might have mentioned before, but I, I do want to uh, reiterate. Um, I'm a big fan of this RDA, a really big fan of this RDA, probably my current favourite squonking RDA. So again, this has been a, a good, good while this has, but I um, just want to give it a shout out, the Creek. Oh, can you see that? That's showing that. 
the Creek RDA from Atmizu. Uh, so I got this maybe two, three weeks ago now, maybe four weeks ago. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It, it comes with, uh, you can get a mouth to lung kit with it and do a proper, proper mouth to lung squonk vape with it. Um, but as it comes normal with the full post, it, um, it's a really, really nice 35, 40 watt squonk direct to lung vape really loving it really cool single coil really like the airflow um, absolutely loads of room for cotton i really like the locking function on the top cap i think it's properly properly cool rda so that is certainly a thing certainly a thing so again if you're a 30 40 45 watt squonker just take the time to go and have a check out of that rda because uh, I think a lot of people have slept on that, and I think it's uh, a little, uh, a little quiet underdog, dark horse beast of uh, an RDA. I'm absolutely loving vaping on that. Truly, I think it's absolutely brilliantly made. Uh, at Mizu, uh, done a fantastic job on that. I don't know why I'm saying all company names in a weird way, but uh, I am. I believe Mark Todd's done a video on it. I'm sure he has, because it's a little bit expensive. So he must have. That's what he does. Um, so yeah, check out. I'm sure Mark Todd will have a video for the Creek RDA um, so go and check that out if uh, you ain't seen it yet or you just missed it or uh, I don't know I'm super impressed with it anyway so uh, top marks from me for that um, I wanted to give an update on how I'm getting on with some of the things that I've reviewed of late uh, so let's just dive into here the first one that comes straight to mind, it's in the work bag, I can't show you, but you know what it looks like, is the iSub B. The iSub B with the 3D mesh. I am in love with that sub tank. I am genuinely, genuinely in love with that sub tank. Uh, oh my God. Um, it, I, as you know, I'm not a super high wattage vapor. You know, I, I do like to chuck some clouds, but, um, uh, and I, you know, I'm quite cloudy in the evenings, but my actual nine to five, you know, my main bulk of the day vape, I prefer that 40, 50 watt mark. The ISO B in 40, 50 watts is such a solid tank. Um, I've put the bubble glass on it now as well, so up the capacity. I'm loving it as a work sub tank. Uh, the ISO B, check out my video for that if you missed it. Um, I, I, I liked it in the review. The more I've used it just day to day at work, the more I appreciate how long the coils are lasting, how good the flavor stays, how consistent it is. I think it's really smart looking sub tank as well. A lot of sub tanks look rubbish. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm crazy, crazy impressed. I'm more, more and more impressed day by day with the I sub B. I think it's my favorite thing they've done, to be honest. Uh, it's an Inican tank. Um, so I'm absolutely loving the ISO B. So I just want to reiterate that uh, I am really enjoying that. Um, the other thing, the other thing that I'm taking to work at the moment, unless I'm testing an item specifically for battery life, what I take to work is kind of just what I'm really relying on and, uh, uh, you know, and really feel safe on at the moment and enjoying. And the other thing that's going to work is the Freemax Twister at the moment with the Firelux V2 tank on top. Um, I've just done a video for that as well. I think that is, I think it looks silly. I think it looks a bit, I think it looks a bit silly. I'd love them to do some plainer colors for it, but um, I think uh, it's such a good vape and it's such a good idea for a kit. There's so many of these stick and tank, sub tank stick kits. Uh, I've just done this one as well, the um, E-Leaf one, the iJust 21700, and there's the, the Preco kits as well, and there's loads of these sub tank and stick kits. They've just taken it to a whole new level. They've completely upped the game. Maybe not for new people, new people or people that just, you know, just vape and don't worry about these things, but uh, by making it uh, variable wattage at the bottom, and putting such a good sub tank on top, Firelux 2 is great. Um, I think they've really changed the game for the, all those people now. Any any time I'm reviewing a stick and sub tank kit, in the back of my mind I'm going, this should have variable wattage. This should have variable wattage, like a twister. Every time that's going to be in the back of my head now. So I really feel like that is a properly, properly solid kit. And uh, I'm really enjoying taking that to work as the backup 
behind the ISO B because it's such a great vape, such a great vape. And dial it into how you want. It isn't just what it is. Um, so I'm really enjoying that as well. So those are a couple of things. Uh, I wanted to just uh, give a big shout. We did as well. We did this as well. Literally just the other day we did this. Um, this is the, I don't know why I'm looking at that. <laughs> this is the uh, Caliburn. Caliburn. I did the, um, it's funny because i just done that five mistakes reviewers make. I did a, a whole recording of this calling it the Caliban. <laughs> Uh, which sounds dangerously close to Taliban, doesn't it? I, oh, God, this video is going to get flagged now. Um, but uh, I, I thought I genuinely looked at it and thought it was the Caliban the first time I ever looked at it. And that was it then. In my head, it was Caliban, Caliban, Caliban. And uh, so I did an entire recording calling it the uh, Caliban. This literally was going to be the next video up after five mistakes vape reviews make. And I thought, oh, I can't have that. I'm going to have to go back and re-record it. Uh, so I did. But the point is, it's a blooming good pod I think I think I think we were all kind of waiting for one of the guys that make killer clearomizers to make a pod system I'm expecting to see a Freemax pod system that would be very interesting as well because they make good sub tanks too um, but yeah finally one of the big sub tank makers made a pod and it is killer It's got a proper coil in it. That's the key. That's the key. Proper cotton, proper coil. Just a tiny bit of camphor wrapped around some silica like the jewel. Um, proper, proper coil. This is a proper pod for vapors, for actual vapors, not smokers converting. I, I'm recommending this pod to vapors. Um, there's no uh, there's no sponsorship or backhanders or Q jumps or anything like that on this video. I genuinely think this pod is great. I mean, it's a low bar. It's a low bar. The vaping world has set a low bar on what is a good pod. Don't get me wrong. Um, but uh, I think this is uh, this is the best one I've had by a country mile. And it's so obvious why it's got a proper coil head. And go and see that video if you didn't, if you missed it anyway. But um, but uh, the the Caliburn, the Caliburn from UL is a killer killer pod system in terms of pure vape quality um i really like it i really like it um and and no money no money changed hands so trust me trust me i just like it um uh, but like i say i'm not gonna make a habit of doing the pods if, if there's crazy unique crazy interesting or crazy good i will still do a video for a pod but um i'm not about to do a load of pod videos for the sake of it a friend of mine who's also a reviewer he got an email from a company um, he'd just done a review for them for their pod and he's like oh will you make a video for this pod and he went well what's the difference and they said it's, it's a different colour <laughs> so that is where we're at right now that is where we're at um, it's a tricky time it's a tricky time um, but yeah so that uh, that's uh, that's a thing I think that's a fantastic little pod that uh, and it vapes properly like a real e-cig uh, and I really like that I really like that um, so that is a thing. Also got, I've also got some juice. Also got some juice. Um, I've only had a little try of all of these juices, um, but they were sent to me by a lovely man, and uh, I'm going to give them a shout. And I don't know anything about where they're going to be available or where they are available. So you will have to do your Google. Maybe I will try and add a link to the description if I find out. Um, but these, these. Jeffrey's Vintage Bakes. Oh, has that worked? Has that worked? I can't tell. Jeffrey's Vintage Bakes. Uh, these uh, are a brand new line of juices from the Jeffrey's guys, uh, Mark Dolan, who does VT UK. Um, they already did this. I gave this a big nod um, not long ago. This is my favourite one from their uh, Vintage Vape line. Um, and they've got a this is the vintage bake line. This was the vintage vape line. Um, this was uh, elderflower and apple, um, and uh, I got this from just adnick.co.uk, and uh, I re this is my favourite from that line. Um, I, I didn't think I was going to like it at all. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's fantastic juice. Uh, so that's the one from the vintage vapes line that I recommend. Um, this new line though is really my speed. 
really my speed. So it's uh, Jeffrey's Vintage Bakes. I'll try and add a link to the description. I have no idea what's going on with this. Um, but um, I've had a little try of each of them. We've got bread and butter pudding. We have trifle. Trifle surprisingly nice as well, you know. I didn't think that would work, and it totally does. Um, so bread and butter pudding, trifle, uh, shortbread, shortbread. This needs more time to steep, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I wasn't getting enough from that, but I think it's going to be great when it uh, ages for a little bit longer. Sticky toffee pudding, oh yes, that's um, that's my kind of thing. And Battenberg as well. Um, and uh, I think these are killer. These are, I'm a, dessert, I'm a dessert vape person. You know, I like my cannoli and I like my custards and all that stuff. Um, so check these out if you're a dessert person too battenberg as well that uh, again it seemed quite nice it seemed quite nice but um again i can tell that they're so clear they need a bit more time but um check these out definitely sticky toffee sticky toffee you can uh, make your mark on and and trifle trifle was great straight out of the gate as well um but jeffrey's vintage bakes i'll mention these again um, in the future when I've had more of a go um, but check out Jeffrey's Vintage Bakes they're, uh, they're on fire at the moment doing some quality stuff um, so there's this this vlog's juice recommendation or juice checkout I don't know, I don't know, I'm not very good at this sort of stuff um, but that's a thing that's a thing I do have more things I haven't made videos for yet and I'll be completely honest I have no idea whether I am or I am not making a video for these things. Apparently, there is some things waiting at work for me as well. Um, so I don't know what they are. Um, uh, so I don't know if what those will be. So I can't show you those or tell you about those. But some more things at work as well. Um, so there's the Preco Kit Plus. The Preco Kit Plus. So you've got your classic Preco. Um, they've added this sort of drip tip sleeve, which helps keep the top fill on. Um, type thing but the tank is pretty much the same it is a solid really solid vape the preco uh, for a disposable sub tank uh, but now and i guess a lot of people will have been calling for this i kind of was uh, it's now 18650 you can put your own battery in which is a nice touch i actually was using this mod with my k fun light for quite a bit it was a i found it to be a very handy out and about i like that sort of unregulated k fun vape um, from it just kind of nostalgically I guess um, and the fact that it tells you when to charge it and you can lock it in your pocket and all that um, so kind of quite enjoying that I think that's that's about as good as a, a Preco kit is going to get right now I think uh, so there's the Preco kit plus I don't know if I'm going to do a video for that or not I might but I don't know um, so there is that there's the V200 from Wismec as well that should get a video. There's no reason that should not get a video because I said I was going to talk about the mouth to lung capabilities on this tank and I haven't done that yet. So there's that from Wismec. Uh, there's the Wii Pod. This is just another pod, so this won't get a video, I'm afraid. Oh, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Hello. I do like the ergonomics of it. I, I think it's like a, it's a little rubber surfboard um, for your fingers. There you go. No? Okay. But it's kind of like surfboard shape, but it's tiny. Um, it's almost like a Star Trek communicator. Beep. No? Um, <laughs> uh, well, it well it looks like this anyway. It's this shape. Um, and it's rubberized, and it's funky, and it's cool. My God, that... Oh, it needs charging. <laughs> Oh well, you can't say I didn't test it. Um, yeah, so... Oh, there we go. It wasn't clicked in right. No, it does need charging. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's just another pod. It's just another pod. That's not going to get a video. Um, but if you're a fan of Tesla, if you're a fan of the Wii line... Um, I mean, it's fun. It's funky. It's well made. It's affordable. It's a pod, and it vapes like a pod. Um, so that's a thing. That is very much a thing. 
And last but not least, the brilliant Paul McCartney has just done a video on this as it goes. This is the, don't tell me, this is the Tyro kit from Vaptio, Vaptio Tyro kit. Um, quite all, it's almost quite good. I think he even called the video almost quite good. Um, it's got quite a unique vape for this size of kit. It's a built-in tank and mod combo. Um, so the tanks like built into the device, they don't work independently of each other. Um, it's like a very restricted lung hit thing and it's quite powerful and it's quite cloudy and it's very solid and well made. I haven't actually seen Paul's video but he called it almost but not quite or something like that uh, Paul McCartney vape don't smoke I'm talking about he's just done a video for this and I'm sure he called it something like that and I bet I haven't seen the video but I bet the one thing he's on about is the top fill because the top fill on this is diabolical diabolical so what you do is it's got a little Vaptio logo there and you turn it at the top and uh, it opens up a hole but that hole <laughs> Even with a syringe, you can't fill up the tank properly with this hole. The juice just sits in the hole. It goes, I'm not going in the tank. You go in the tank. <laughs> and it just it just won't go in. Um, I haven't seen his video, but I'm, I'm assuming that's that's what he's said about it. Because um, it's got a very interesting airflow. It's got a very interesting style of vape to it. It's quite nice vape. It's quite a nice vape. And it's super pocket friendly and sturdy and I think it's quite nice looking as well. I, I, there's a lot. It's got a lot going for it, in my opinion, this uh, Tyro kit. Um, but it, uh, you can't fill it. You can't put e-juice in it. And that is a problem. I don't know. I don't know. Can't remember how I did manage to get it in in the end. I think maybe I used a, one of the really old fashioned long needle syringes and got it right in the corner and sort of settled for half full. I can't remember how I filled it, but yeah, the, the filling system on it is a joke. Absolute joke. Sorry, Vaptio. Um, so that's, uh, so I've been holding back making a video for that because, uh, yeah, I really should email them and tell them, but um, I can't be bothered. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, thing two. Okay, we're running quite long, as considering I haven't got any new vape stuff for it coming up for review. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so that's that. So check out Jeffrey's Vintage Bakes. Um, check out Just Add Nick if you want to try that uh, elderflower and apple doodah. I'm quite enjoying that. Um, and, yeah, more stuff coming. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's a particular thing you would like me to review. I don't know. I don't know if there is. I don't know if there's a hot new thing coming or something everyone else has reviewed that you just want me to do another video for. Or I don't know. I don't know what's cracking off. Can you hear? I've still got the I've still got this chest infection. It's, they said it's going to take a month to properly clear. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like having a asthma type thing. So all my lungs are all scarred. Um, yeah. So that's a thing. Oh, the um. The Crown V4, I still think, is absolutely top draw. Top draw sub tank vape, if you like a sub tank. That is the one right now with those mesh coils. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Um, what else? What, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so let me know about the Fun Day Sunday thing. Let me know if it's a completely different Fun Day Sunday thing you would like to see that, again, is a bit on topic but not a review. Um, or let me know if there's a top five mistakes you'd really like to see. Uh, we've done juice companies, we've done vape reviewers, we've done new vapors. So it'd be interesting to see if there's a particular angle you want me to look at. Um, maybe vape shops. I'm quite keen to do five mistakes vape shops make, but I'd really like to show some examples of some bad vape shops in that. Um, I quite quite like the idea of that. I don't want to upset everyone, but I quite like the idea of a top five Mistakes vape shops make. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, I would need more than five, I bet. Um, but uh, yeah, so quite uh, quite interested to do that. But uh, I'm digressing, aren't I? Um, oh, I was wrapping up. Uh, um, yeah, check out Vintage Bakes. <laughs> Repetition. Check out Vintage Bakes. Uh, um, stay tuned. Um, eat an apple every day. Um, I've lost my entire train of 
Sorry about the camera thing. It will settle down. It'll look okay eventually. Focal lengths are a whole new world of pain um, with Canon and all that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We've we've petered to a halt, haven't we, with this? Well, I've run out of steam. I've run out of steam. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Some good stuff coming up. Definitely some good stuff coming up. Definitely stay tuned. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Live. I'm going to do something live so soon. I might do... I've done, I think I've done it before. A live juice testing using new stuff. So the hardware is new stuff and the juice is new and like a live juice testing for a very exciting new juice that I'm uh, testing, not testing, uh, trying at the moment. Uh, that might be the next live thing. That'll be very, very soon indeed. I promise. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, we're going live. Check out the Facebook group, link in description. I don't know. I don't know. Just be safe out there, okay? Just be safe out there and <laughs> have a good time. Have a good, uh, have a good time. Uh, I'll just sign it off. I like how I sign it off. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Comment below if there's anything you want to discuss. Like the video if you can. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.